just one of 55 tornadoes forming from Nebraska all the way to Texas. An outbreak killing 21 people, 13 in Andover. Hannah Adamson explains how the tragic day shaped the future of emergency management. Eddie, that fateful day Andover's only tornado siren didn't sound. A police officer actually had to use a megaphone while driving through Andover to alert residents to seek shelter. The key takeaways and lessons learned across several agencies creating new systems, no doubt saving lives almost 31 years later to the day. For many who lived through the 1991 Andover tornado, the need for an updated emergency action plan became abundantly clear. Before that day, the most recent disaster to hit Butler County was the 1958 tornado that struck El Dorado. And so it really wasn't in recent memory. It's very easy for natural disasters to fade from the public memory. The tornado was a wake-up call. Before April 1991, Butler County didn't have an official emergency management department or director. Well, I know the person who served in that function previously was the sheriff in Butler County, and he'd been pushing for a number of years. And then by the following year, 1992, they had actually, that's when the Board of County Commissioners established the standalone department. From a one-man crew, the county created two volunteer teams to assist in the field. Between those two, we've got a approximately 45 volunteers. It was several years in the making to get a volunteer cadre like that assigned. Another improvement, developing a more robust partnership with Sedgwick County. You know, on a day-to-day -day operation, we are always helping each other, each other's jurisdictions. So the relationships were already built. If there's anything that impacts them that exceeds their resources, our folks will go over there and help them and vice versa. Another community taking note. Former Hayesville Mayor Tim Norton says the tornado prompted his community to finalize an action plan in late 1998 just four months before Hayesville suffered a devastating F4 tornado of its own. The biggest thing it did was it gave us a listing of all the resources that we could call on. It was comforting to know that we had all those connections that that particular night. And since last year's tornado, pandemic-related funds allowed for the creation of a new EOC in Butler County, a major step in an ever-evolving field. We don't want to just react to disasters when they happen. Even though we can't necessarily prevent a disaster, to know that we've done a lot of that legwork ahead of time, and essentially it's kind of the big picture place. Another lesson learned out of the most recent tornado, the need to rely on more paper materials. Many folks with no power working to assess the damage were not aware of the multiple resources available to them that were referenced on social media. So far, several are still waiting on insurance claims to go through. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3.